Okay, now we are going to solve practice problem 3.2 from Sadiku book. And the question is find the voltage at non-reference node. So there is three non-reference nodes. So this is the reference nodes, which is the voltage is zero. And one, two, three is the non-reference nodes. So I will use all KCL in all the nodes. So we will assume the direction of the current force. So I will assume the current will be going there and That's there right. and because this is current source so we just follow the direction and we already have this current going down and here I also assume this will going down and here I just follow the current source. Okay so now we have the direction of the current and let's start working at node number one. Okay, and not one. So the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. There is one current that goes in here and two currents that go goes out. This one and this one. The current that goes in is just this current, 4 ampere. And then this current, which can be calculated by using Ohm's law, which is v1 minus v2 divided by 3 plus this current here so this current and that can also calculate it using Ohm's law which is v1 minus v3 divided by 2 okay because I like to work with integers so not fraction we multiply both sides by 6 so we will have 24 and then here we have 2 v1 minus 2 v2 and then here we have 3 v1 minus 3 v3 so we will have for v1 i have 5 v1 5 v1 and then yeah minus v2 minus 2 v2 and then minus 3 v3 okay let's have this as equation number one then we move on to node number two let's do it here at node two So the current that goes in, there is two current that goes in, this one and that one, and one current that goes out here, Ix, and the current that goes in here, it can be calculated using Ohm's law, V1 minus V2 divided by 3, and then plus this current here for Ix, for Ix. And then the current that goes out here is Ix. That will equal to Ix. Okay, let's manipulate this a bit. So Ix, I can move this to the left hand side. So I will have this equal to 0, but this is 3. Okay, now we have V1 minus V2 divided by 3 plus 3. And then Ix is can ax can be calculated using Ohm's law here v2 divided by 4 so we'll have v2 divided by 4 and that will equal to 0 and now we can multiply both sides by 12 so we will have 4 v1 minus 4 v2 and then this is 9 v2 is equal to 0 so I will have 4 v1 plus 5 v2 is equal to 0 and let's have this as equation number 2 okay now the last one we need to analyze node number 3 so let's do node number 3, add node 3, okay, 
Okay, the current that goes in, there is two, one current that goes in here, here, so this will continue here. And then the current that goes out, there is two current that goes out, one and two. So we start from the current that goes in first, which is from V1 to V3. And we pass to ohm resistor, so here. And then the current that goes out, which is this. For IX, and then this current here plus V3 divided by 6, and remember that IX is actually V2 divided by 4. So this will be V1 minus V3 divided by 2 is equal to 4. And this is V2 divided by 4 plus V3 divided by 6. And this can cancel each other. And we can multiply both sides by 6. Yeah, we can multiply both sides by 6. So we will have 3V1 minus 3V3 is equal to 6V2 plus V3. So we can put all to the left hand side. So we will have 3v1 minus 6v2 minus 4v3. Okay, we will have this equal to 0. So this will be equation 3. Okay, our whiteboard is full, so I will save this equation number 1, number 2, and number 3, and let's clean the board and solve that. Okay, so far we have these three equations, and we now at the final step of solving the problem, which is solving these equations, this system of equations. So what can we do here? I will do it by elimination. So if we take a look at equation number 2 here, we don't have V3 term. So I will use that fact to eliminate V3 from equation 1 and equation 3. So I will multiply equation 1 by 4. And then I will multiply equation 3 by 3. So we will have 12 v3 here and 12 v3 here and they will can cancel each other so we will have question 1 multiplied by 4 which is 20 v1 minus 8 v2 and then minus 12 v2 that equal to 24 multiplied by 4 which is 96 and equation 3 by 3, so we will have 9v1 minus 18v2 minus 4 by 3, 12v2. And that will equal to 0. And we can subtract this, so we can cancel this 12 all together. So we will have 11 v1 minus 8 plus 18 is plus 10 v2 and that v3 this is v3 that v3 will cancel each other and that will equal to 96 okay we have this equation with two variables and we ha also have this with two variables so we can eliminate this and we have 5 here and 10 here, so I will multiply equation number 2 by 2. So we will have 10 V2 there. And our equation become 8 V1 plus 10 V2 is equal to 0. And we can subtract this again. So this V2 will cancel each other, so we will have 3 V1 is equal to 96 and v1 is 96 divided by 3 which is 32 volt okay good number so we found the first point here 
that V2 is 32 volt. I mean V1 is 32 volt. So from here we can calculate V2. So we'll have V4 V1 plus 5 V2 from equation number 2. Let's plug in V1 into this equation. So 4 multiplied by 32 plus 5 V2 is equal to 0. 32 multiplied by 4 is 128 plus 5 V2. And that will equal to 0. So 5 V2 is minus 128. So I will have V2 is here minus and this is V2 is minus 25.6 volt. So this is the voltage of node 2. And and for V3, we can plug this V1 and V2 into one of this equation to get V3. So we will have, I will plug this into equation number 3. So 3 multiplied by 32 minus 6 multiplied by minus 25.6 minus 4 V3 is equal to 0. And we can move this to the right hand side. So we will have this is equal 4, 5, 4 V3 so we will have this as 96 plus <laughs> so we will multiply that 25.6 by 6 we will have 153.6 is equal to 4 V3 and that will be 2 4 9.6 is equal to 4 V3 and then we just divide that by 4. So we will have V3 is equal to 62.4 volt. So we have found all the not voltage. V1 is 32, V2 is minus 25.6, and V3 is 62.4. And this is the answer for practice problem 3.2. Okay, thank you for watching.